Today, I want to show you how you can create your own 3D jigsaw puzzles, just like this one. If you rather want to read about this, please follow the link in the description down below. So, let's -a go! When you follow the link down in the description below, you will find this GitHub repository. Here are the written guide I already mentioned. Also, there will be two examples which you can just print out and see what a 3D jigsaw puzzle will look like. And also a few more files you will need from this guide. So first open the jigsaw.html. You will be greeted with a screen like this. There will be, as you can see, many different options you can use. But the only one which will really matter will be the path thickness, because this should be set to the clearance which your 3D printer can produce. If you are not 100% sure what, you, what your printer can produce, you should go to the clearance test folder and there will be some clearance tests you can print. And then come back to the path generator and download your SVG with the download SVG button. Now save the SVG wherever you want and head back to the downloaded folder and open the puzzle file in OpenSCAD. You will be greeted with a 3D object like this one, but you can load up your created file when you enter the path to your file here. I will do this just now. And here, see nothing, of course. Here. Example hard, not hard example, should be correct. And there it is. You can see a uh, yeah, blocky puzzle. You can also set here the height for your puzzle, but this isn't too important because you can also set the height in Blender later when we load the puzzle there. So now Either press F6 or uh, render it with a GUI and now F7 and save the .stl wherever you want. Now head over to Blender and there delete all of the default garbage and quickly import your created STL and yeah, you'll be greeted with complete garbage. Yes, I found out the problem was that I didn't actually wait until the STL has completely finished exporting. So I needed to go back and export it again. And now there it is. Look at this beautiful jigsaw. Oh boy. So now let's make this puzzle a little less blocky and a little bit more puzzly. Hide the object and add a plane, scale it yeah, a little bit up to the size of the puzzle. For this, I think it's best to unhead it again. It should be a little bit bigger than the puzzle. Now, first add a subdivision modifier to the plane and subdivide it a few times. This will make it in a um, circular thingy. So head over to the edit mode and add a edge crease. You can do it with shift E or control E and select it from the drop down menu, which appears. Now add a second modifier and in this case, a displace modifier. This modifier changes the plane to reflect what the height map shows. So add a new texture here in the modifier options and head over to the texture settings. Here you can either load a uh, height map you choose. For 
from an image or you can use one which Blender can generate. I will use the section, second option here and I'm going with a width type and set it to ring noise. Um, this makes this yeah, ring noisy pattern. Back in the displays modifier option you can set the strength of it and yeah obviously not set it to zero but that it's a little bit wavy and now comes the interesting part uh, if you want to all you want to be your puzzle needs to be over the bottom of the puzzle so make it a little bit taller so you can easily put the object inside of your puzzle and everything below is imagine the plane as cutting it and everything below will be your puzzle so i think this is looking good for me so there's basically just one step left we need to do um, adding a boolean modifier and add this to the puzzle and set as the target the plane and you should set the threshold to zero because otherwise sometimes there are happening some things um, yeah, which should not happen and apply the modifier now if you unhide the plane and changed wireframe mode and delete all of the vertices on the top you have a nice looking puzzle now i jump back a few steps before i apply the building modifier i will remove it for a second because now i want to show you how you can use a 3D object to create a jigsaw puzzle out of it. First import your object. I will use this low poly heart here and bring it in the position you want it to. For me, I first place it in the center and rotate it by 90 degrees so it lies flat. And next up, I want to make the plane a little bit more to fit to the heart. So I make it a little bit more space between the waves. But yeah, let's try some values. And uh, yeah, whatever. Just take, I will take this one and move the heart up a little bit. Now here it is important that you don't create a shape which is overlapping because it will result in a not non-3D printable object. Now we need to make the heart on the bottom side flat. So actually maybe you don't need to do this, but sometimes when you don't make the bottom side flat, it messes up with the boolean modifier we will apply in the next step so for me it always worked best when i just cut off the bottom side of the heart to make it flat so quickly let's quickly add a boolean modifier to the heart and here set it to difference and select the cube and apply it and now just delete the cube and yes the heart is flat on the bottom side perfect now i drag you can again place it however you want and the next step is to select both the heart and the plane and join them together with pressing Control J. As you can obviously see, uh, you first need to apply 
both modifiers to the plane and then join them. Now the heart will look a little bit awkward, so press right mouse button and select flat shading. Now you can enable the puzzle again and apply again a boolean modifier to it and select the plane. This will take a second to calculate and now apply it. And you can hide the plane again. Go into the edit mode and again delete all of the vertices on the top. And now you have a beautiful 3D jigsaw puzzle. But uh, here, there is an error. So, how can we fix this? Most likely, I forgot to set the overlap threshold to zero. Even though I told multiple times, please set it to zero. Yes, and so you can see like this happens when you set the threshold not to zero. So let's quickly fix this. Set it here and then build your modifier to zero. Now we'll apply it. And this takes again a second calculate, repeat steps from pro, delete the vertices on the top. Now, uh, yeah, hide the plane. And ta-da! There is a beautiful jigsaw puzzle with 15 by 15 pieces. Can now print it out, put it in a nice box, and give it to somebody special. Mm -hmm.